All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Fish in Florida. Today, I'm really excited. This just came in the mail. It is the Metanium DC. I'm so excited. This is so cool. All right, so first thing straight out of the package, it came with a Shimano sticker. Now, let's go ahead and unbox this. I'm so excited. This is so cool. Okay, got that off. All right, so first thing that comes in the box, some papers. I'm just gonna put these aside. All right, now we got the real. Dang, this looks sick. All right, there it is. This thing is smooth. Oh my gosh. It's really light too. This is a really nice reel. Look at that. The Metanium DC. This is so smooth. All right, let's see what else comes in the box. All right, then you got some oil for your reel. I'm not really sure what this is. I'll figure it out. Last thing is a case for the reel. This will come in handy for whenever I travel. I'll just put my reel in here. And yeah, it won't get scratched up. And yeah, now let's look at the reel itself. All right, guys. So looking at the reel, first thing I notice is that the paint is really cool. It's kind of a dark gray has a really nice finish and I really like that they put the Metanium DC on the side here that's pretty sick also it's really light feels really comfy in my hand you can easily palm this the handles are really smooth really nice I got the HG version which is a 7 4 to 1 gear ratio the other version is the XG it is I think it's 8 2 to 1 I'm not sure it might be 8 4 to 1 but the other one is called the XG. It is a way faster gear ratio than I wanted. I'd use an 8, 2 to 1 or whatever it is. I'd use that mostly just for top water. A 7 or close to 7 gear ratio is better for all around fishing. I think the only difference besides the gear ratio between the HG and the XG is that on the XG, this tension knob is highlighted in yellow. Yeah, I think that's the only difference otherwise between the two models. It's just the gear ratio and then yellow highlights. So I went with the HD. Next thing I noticed is that it is really smooth. Reeling this, it doesn't even feel like reeling. It's so smooth. Yeah, just a really, really smooth, really nice reel. All right, so I'll just give you guys a few angles of this. Here's the side back and other side once again i really like how they put the metanium dc right on the side here that's pretty cool all right so now i'll go over how you adjust this so basically on the side on the bottom right here here's your dial on how you adjust so basically when you want to open the side plate you turn the dial all the way down until the bottom where it says open i don't know if you guys can see that but it says open and then you just flip this switch right here and then now you can just take that side pipe pops it right off all right so how you adjust it is on the side plate on the very top it says pe i think that means braid but all you have to do to adjust it is you just take your nail can just move it sideways so f is fluorocarbon p e is braid i'll keep it on braid for right now and then n is probably mono so i'll keep it on p e for now i've heard that cast the farthest so i'll just keep it on that and then put that right back all right so on the dial there are five different options you have one two let me focus that you have one two three four and then you have one called auto and auto just adjusts it for anything so you don't have to do anything manually it'll automatically adjust to your bait so that's pretty cool so yeah that's pretty much it for right now if I think of anything else I'll add that but now I want to spool this up and put this on a rod Up, 
put it on an Abu Garcia Vendetta. This isn't the rod I'm going to be using. I'm going to put it on a Shimano Zodius, probably the 610 version. So yeah, let's take my first cast ever. Oh, backlashed a lot. Let's see, I'll put it on auto. Dang, this reel is so smooth. Oh my god, this is nice. I bombed it. Jeez. This cast is really far. I got a little bit of backlash, but that's just because my spool tension nub, I have it cranked really down low. So, move that up. Alright. Third cast. Alright, this is nice. This is really nice. Yep, this bombs it. Oh my god, that went far. It's so smooth. I can't get over the fact of like how smooth it is. Like reeling doesn't even feel like reeling. Alright, time to go in. I'll be out tomorrow and hopefully get a few fish on this Metanium DC. Ready for the skip? So you stand on here and you go. Dude, this is so nice. This is so nice. What? What is it? I got one. What do I have? Oh, a bass. Hey, that's my first fish on my new reel. I wasn't even trying to catch a fish. I was just reeling it in to skip again. Well, guys, first fish on the Metanium DC. I wasn't even trying to catch a fish. I was just reeling it in to skip, try skipping again. First fish on my new reel. And there he goes. Oh, dude, I just got hit. I'm on. A rock. Or fish, maybe. What do I have? Oh, he just got stuck in all the weeds. Hey, pretty little bass. Second tiny little fish on the Metanium DC. I don't know why they're getting so small, but there he goes. That's pretty weird. I'm not I'm not even trying to catch a fish. I'm just like reeling it straight in or twitching it pretty fast in. And they're like hitting it on like a reaction strike. Another tiny little fish, what the heck? Why are they so small? Alright, well I'm not complaining. Third fish on my new reel. He's pretty skinny, that might be another post spawner. And there he goes. Alright, what do you want to do now? I just want to go a little bit. Oh my god, that was sick! What was it? What was it? Snake. No way. That was on top water though. Yeah, Had a bite. That's a fish. Hey, first decent bass. About a pound and a half, maybe two. Oh, that's a good one. First decent fish of the day. Not a bad one. On my Metanium DC. That's sick. And there he goes. Oh. That's a fish. Get out of there. Come on. Another bass on the Metanium DC. Little guy. There's a bunch of little fish here. Alright guys, another tiny little bass on the Metanium DC. Probably, I think, I want to say around my fifth fish. 
bunch of little guys today. I've had one decent fish, probably about a pound and a half. So yeah, let's get a release. And there he goes. Another little guy. Oh, and he's stuck. Another little bass on the Senko. I'm tearing it up. New spot, guys. As y'all can tell, this probably doesn't get fished very much. Because I'm tearing it up with a Senko. I'm not even fishing a Senko like you're supposed to. I'm going pretty fast, almost like a jerk bait. I'm like jerking it, and yeah. I'm getting chunky little fish. Granted, they're all pretty small, but still, it's fun. On the DC reel, too. Alright, guys, probably like my sixth fish. Somewhere around there. This one's still pretty small, but at least he's chunkier. Let's get a release. And there he goes. Oh yeah. Hey, that's a better little bass. Very next cast. Oh my gosh, this thing goes tearing it up. Alright guys, second solid bass of the day. Probably about maybe a pound and a half, maybe two. I'm not sure. And there she goes. There's a little bass. Three casts in a row. Let's go. Three in a row. Three casts, three fish on the Latanium DC. This is so fun. What the heck? This lake is actually juice. Now that I'm actually trying to catch fish and I'm slowing it down, I'm getting a bite, at least a bite like every cast. Three fish and three casts. That's insane. Another little guy though. Let's get a release. Alright, another little bass. And there you go. Oh God, that's a good fish. Oh, that's a tank. That's a, that's a stud. Oh my God. That's huge. That's huge. On the metanium. Let's go. Come here. Come here, bud. Come here. Holy smokes. Oh my god. That's a seven pounder. Oh my god. Dude. What? What is this? Oh my god. Oh, that might be bigger than seven. What the heck? Where did this come from? This is so big. What on the Metanium DC? What? Where did this come from? All right, guys, just got this tank. This is my biggest bass ever. Solid. That's huge. 8.2. 8.2, yeah. That is a freaking tank. How hard did you think it would fight? Not as... Uh, dude, it actually fought really hard. When I set the hook, I was like, oh god, what is this? I thought it was a snakehead, because it fought like really hard. Alright guys, that is a tank. Dude, that's my biggest bass ever, an 8-pounder, a trophy bass. Captain and Ruben are going to be so mad. Wait, that's not your shoe, what the hell? Darshan.
Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for today's video. So far, I love the Mantanium DC. It casts really far, and it's extremely smooth. One thing I noticed is that the musical DC wine is not as loud as I thought it was going to be but it is definitely noticeable. Other than that, it is a great reel and it handled that eight pounder fantastically. If you liked this video or want to see more of the Metanium DC, make sure you subscribe. Also check out my Instagram where you can see the fish I catch before I post the video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you next time in the next episode of Vision 4.